Well, hello there, you sweet teenage mutant ninja toe beans. It's your boy, them curvy toes, and we're back playing Spellbook Demon Slayers once again today. Now, this is one of my favorite Bullet Heaven style games. Absolute blast to play. I've done a few videos on it before. If you like the look of today's, check those videos out and go check it out on Steam. Thank you so much, you guys, for all the love you've been showing on the channel as of late. Seriously, it's been through the roof, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you guys so very, very much. Make sure you like today's video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, let's see, who are we going to be playing as today? Uh, we're going to be playing as... Where is it? What am I doing with my life here? Ah, yes. Wolf, an extra reward. Reroll every level. And we're going to be playing in... Screw it! Let's play in the Glacial Caves. I know how to play game. Get out of here. And we got our first shrine right out the gate. Now we start out with double tap, which is one of my favorite abilities in the game. And they just did a huge graphical and mechanical update not too long ago. Double tap. Tread demons with aimed shards of ice. Yeah, sure. We'll go. Oh my god, yeah. Alright. I like it. I like it a lot. We're just going straight machine guns right now. What do we got going on here? The booty shotgun. Do we take it again? We're going to take the booty shotgun again, Beans. I know I, uh, I took it last video, but I just love the ability so damn much. Rapid damage, more like rapid... Dying. I made that joke last time. Ignore me. I'm just running out of shit to say. And got another upgrade on double tap. And let's see what we got here. Damage and projectile size up or flat damage up. Or damage reduction. We're going to take... Because we are firing a lot of projectiles. We're going to do that. I want our projectiles... Oh, that's my microphone to hit as many things as possible. That seems like a damn good way to do it. There are so many abilities in this game, you guys. It is absolutely bonkers. Oh, look at these sons of bitches firing projectiles at us. If we could just, you know, hit them with the booty shotgun. Thank you. All right. And base damage up to 40. I do want to make sure that we keep these three abilities. So, when we take a smuggler shrine it will get rid of the lowest level ability that we have. So I might just take one to uh, to burn, quite honestly. We'll see. I mean, the Smuggler Shrine oftentimes does it offer like really, really good stuff. It's not always game-changing, though. Uh, thickening. Mm, the thickening. Yeah, sure. I like more HP and less damage. Seems like they would pair very well together. Like a lovely uh, cheese and a high-quality saltine. These guys, the, any, any projectile enemy in these games, just the bane of my existence. Can't stand them. Ooh, and our next elite. Rapid damage. Should I make the same joke again two minutes later? Hurl an aimed fireball. Alright, so we are going to take that. Just so when we do get a smuggler shrine that we can get rid of it. Perfect, and we didn't upgrade it. So now that will be the next one we... Or that will be the one we get rid of. all the XP that we can. Trying to get some levels going. What level are we? Seven? That feels like we're more than that, but... Ooh, spirit shield thickening. Yeah, we'll take another, another level on thickening. Why not? We got 
a lot of projectiles going on. Not as many as we're going to get here, but definitely enough. Now, there's a radioactive aura ability that I really like that I feel like would pair well with this build. Ooh. All right, so we got to gotta kill demons and get these projectiles. These orbs hit hard as hell. Speed and range. Eh, sure, why not? We got a lot of projectiles going out, so we might as well make them projectilier. I want to see a smuggler shrine here sooner rather than later, just so we can get. Hmm. Critical chance is always zero. Critical shrines are re-rolled into another type. Projectile chain amount plus one. Summon a smuggler shrine and a treasure chest. Okay. Ooh. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take that for now. Oh no. Well, now we're gonna get rid of the booty shotgun. Well, we fucked that up. I fucked that up. Exclusively me. All right, well, no booty shotgun for us. We'll replace double tap. Oh, God. Hmm. Gain extra energy shield equal to 50% of your reserved HP. Thirteen percent more experience gain. Well now we're for this for the this juncture in time stuck with magma axis, which is not great. Yeah, we'll take Brutality, because we did forego the uh, Energy Shield upgrade. Well, that is a big disappointment that that worked out the way it did. I thought we would have the opportunity to grab the treasure chest afterwards. But we'll remember next time, then. All right, yep, we'll go with that. Regen Breaker. You will break nothing, sir. Our booty shotgun will do terrible, terrible things to your wormy body. Oh, perfect. Now that's our uh, tied for our highest level spell. Well, that's how it works, I guess. Experience gain 15%. Pickup range 25%. Sure, why not? The faster we gain levels, the faster we can keep our power ahead of the ahead of the curve the math curve look at all that lovely lovely xp you know what i don't mind this this fireball ability i guess All right, we'll try it out. It says that the fire ground does knock back too. All right, well, shit, maybe that actually works really well with our build and I got lucky more than anything. Wealthy, wealthy just means they drop a lot of XP, I think, right? Let's get rid of this guy though. We'll take that. More XP, never a bad idea in this game. Perfect. And here we come, a wassailing, shooting fireballs. I do like that the icicle ability has the freeze effect as well. 
When elite demon is frozen by anything, the size of their buff aura is reduced. Well, blood sprinkler, let's see what that does. All right. Oh, that's like the uh, the radiation one I was talking about, but like slightly different. Come on, Blood Spark Shrine, there we go. We're just killing too many enemies at this point. Smuggler Shrine. All right, well, I'm not 100% sold on the molten thingamajig anyways, so. Unleash a barrage of blasts in front of you. All right, I've not seen this before. We'll see what this this does. I mean, we got a lot of projectiles going on, so the next uh, big old thingamajig we get is that. Oh, I was like following this arrow. It was my cursor. <laughs> uh, if we can get the shotgun ability, that would be really tight. Or the additional chaining, that wouldn't be bad either. All right. Fire of Sinai, yeah, sure. It lasts for a while, so I'll take it. Can we stand still yet? Oh, we're, we're getting there so far. Oh, one almost touched us there. All right, let's get in the power shrine, get some, get some kills off here. There we go, power shrine completed. Yep, we're gonna grab double tap and then get two levels on Frost Shaper, excellent. Feeling good about this run, Beans. Beans, today has been one of those days where this is not the first or even the fifth run I've tried to record for you guys. I, ooh, I was not having a good time. And then, and then this is the kicker. This is the kicker. I, uh, I spent an hour recording. Uh, I, 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 I'm not going to tell you what game because I do intend on doing a recording of it soon. Um, hour, hour and a half recording. And, uh, I forgot to turn OBS on. I was, uh, I had to take a break. I had to take a break after that. I was, I was big sad. I was very big sad. Knockback plus 13% more HP. Yeah, sure. Because our flames do, uh, do do <laughs> knockback. I feel like a lot of our projectiles do as well. So more knockback. Needs a nicer little safe halo around us. All right. Here's where we want uh, probably the shotgun ability, if we can get that, because we have so many projectile-based abilities. I'm sure whatever we get will be just fine and dandy. Turbo Shrine. Hmm, mouth thickening. Yeah, we'll take, take another level on uh, Double Tap. Like I said, one of my favorite abilities in the game, and it evolves into Ghost Bullets, which pierces infinitely. Oh, took a nice little, nice little hit there. That one was just me playing sloppy. Should probably take one of the uh, movement speed ups. That seems like it would be prudent, uh, prudent decision to make at this point. All right, what do we got here? Sigma stance. I'm gonna reroll. Instantly execute demons below 25% HP. 20% more damage. Plus two base damage to all burning ground. Interesting. Hmm. 
20% more damage. Or damage plus 60%. I feel like that's... The damage plus 60% is going to be... Just... Even more useful. Like, yeah, 25% health. That's all well and good, but... If we can... One tap them at that point, is there really any... Any need? To which I would say no. Yeah, we're gonna take critical chance up. Hmm, all this bonus XP is paying off for sure. I feel like we're leveling a lot quicker than normal. All right, what do we got here? Eye popper up and level nine and ten on those. What's our crit chance? 26, this will bring it up to 39%. Lots of critical crits. We have five astral flowers already, which is lovely. Always enjoy meta currency. There's a lot of meta progression to kind of unpack in this game. It goes it goes a lot deeper than I would have thought. Uh, Alright, energy shield and a barrier. Energy shield starts recharging if you're not taking damage for a short amount of time. We are going to go into uh, booty shotgun. Just because I love that ability. Just run away and absolutely shred everything behind you. Revival Shrine? Does this give us a revive? I don't know if I've seen this before. I probably have and just forgotten. Alright, we got three revives. Cool. Deadly Dusts... Oh my god. Deadly Dusts double distance devastates demons. Yes. Oh my god, look at that. Does it pierce? I feel like I asked this exact same question last time and also had a very rough time trying to read that alliteration description. What do we got here? Blitzkrieg. The hell's Blitzkrieg? Prime Bolt Evolved Double Tap fires extra auto-aimed bullets at nearby elite demons? Sure. Oh, maybe that's not the ability I was thinking of then. still like the ability. Base damage per purse de demon plus five. Oh, okay. Trying to hit us with your electric laser orbs. Miss me with that shit. Now we are going to take critical multiplier plus 30%. That means our crits are going to do that much more damage. And so much XP pooling on the ground that I don't know what to do with it other than grab it and... Ooh, a smuggler Shrine. Very nice. Alright, we're gonna take some more burning ground goodies. And what do we have here? Projectiles cannot pierce. I don't love that. Mmm, re-roll. Energy shield plus 100%, armor minus 2. Alright, so we gotta grab some energy shield now. And eventually some armor. Blitzkrieg and Prime Bolt up. Perfect. And 8 minutes and 40 seconds left until we hit endless mode, which I like to see. Alright. Cast speed up is gonna be huge. Yeah, we're... we're getting real weird with it. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see we are just vomiting projectiles in all directions at this point. Hmm, what a great day to be a spellbook wielding demon slayer beans. And what a great day to be a toe beam. You know, I know I, I was bitching a little bit earlier about how I couldn't get a run going, and then, ah, oh, these fucking guys. And then how I lost, uh... <laughs> well, didn't lose, just like didn't record an, an hour and a half of content, but... You know, Beans, I'm a big, uh, I'm a big believer in, like, if something like that is the biggest problem that I have today... Where's our armor at? It's at negative. Um, then I'm, I'm having a pretty damn good day. Is what it boils down to. So we do still have one armor when all is said and done. Ooh, a red crystal. Nice. All right. Perfect. Surplus. All right. So we have 26 energy shield. Cool. How much damage do we take per hit? I'm not even looking. I'm just like, I'm gonna wait for one of the uh, one of the laser balls to hit me. I think. More damage, more, more projectile size. Perfect. Oh, the booty shotgun. Look at that. Just firing waves upon waves of unholy death into the... Or holy death into the unholy horde? Something like that. I don't really know. I'll have to get back to y'all on that one. Perfect. Let's see what he gave us. Level 9 on Blitzkrieg. Oh, man. Eye Popper's only level 3? Oh, we're gonna get to evolve that, too. Armor plus three. Behemoth. Shit. All right. We're a big girl. We dummy thick. That means our hitbox is larger for sure. Oh, and we dodged it when I tried to get hit by the lightning ball. It's not how it works when I... <laughs> and I'm trying to avoid them, but here we go. Okay, so that doesn't even completely get rid of our of our energy shield at this point. And that regens quick as hell. I like that. Energy shield is is the way to go for right now. What level are we at? 35. Cool. And using our booty shotgun to great effect on this hasted enemy. Turn around and fire it at both of them if we can. Cast speed. Also applies to regeneration speed. Can't switch. Oh. Oh. Yeah, base cooldown of all spells at 13%. Perfect. And I pop her up. And Blitzkrieg to level 10. Let's go. We got uh, we got a lot of projectiles going on here. Uh, we're going to take another level on Clairvoyance. Just to... Uh, get as many levels as we possibly can. We do, I think, for level hitting level 50, we unlock, like, a bonus a passive option for this character. Knockback is affected by projectile size. Yeah, alright. And got that shrine done, and let's get the power shrine done. Hopefully we get a uh, smuggler or one of the uh, big red shrines here soon. Take that up to level 10. So now everything but eye popper is level 10. And we're fighting boulders with feelings. Hey, ask you shall receive. There we go. Got uh, 
Got our next red shrine. Ooh -wee. All right, we dodged directly into. The, uh, enemies there. Alright, now we're up to 47% uh, energy shield though, which is cool. Astral flower. Sh Ooh, an astral flower shrine. Eye popper. Up. Oh. Now we're up to 10 astral flowers. What do we got here? Eh, sure. We'll take another slipstream. Projectile pierce amount plus one, damage plus 30%. Yes! All of the piercing. And now we are just. <laughs> Alright, I don't really know too much what I'm doing, but I do know that this is busted. Critical multiplier plus 30%. Or 25% more damage just to get weight that into the pool. Holy projectiles, Batman. A soul seek shrine. What does this give us? Temporary gun mage spell. All right. And... Knockback and max HP. Sure, why not? Look at those guys. Oh, and they're dead. I popper, I popper, I popper, yum. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Up to 70 energy shield there. Still have 306 health after all of all is said, done, and reserved. We do have double dash unlocked at this point, which is cool. More like two dash slots. Mana Shrine. That's going to do something with our regeneration of our dash, I would assume. Mm, the booty shotgun is the true carry of this build. Of any build that it's in. When you kill an elite demon, kill all non-elite demons. Huh. Eh, we're gonna go with projectile speed and range. We can always grab that later if we need. We have three minutes left before we get into endless mode. We are cruising. Cruising easy beans. And booty shotgun. Putting in work. This will take eye popper up to level 9. And hopefully we'll get level 10 here. Half projectile speed stat applies to move speed while moving and cast speed while stationary. Alright, where's our cast speed? 70%. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we're gonna be fast as shit. And then when we're not moving, we cast many things very quickly. Energy shield plus 13, light radius. So that'll give us 98 total. And we got eye popper to max level. Well, some of these can level up to 11, I think. Level 47 already. Ooh -wee. Bonus XP, putting in work. Let's see just how weird and spicy we can get. Doing lots of damage. And not regretting it one bit. No, sir. I, I wrote this song for my beans. Oh, look at all that knockback. That's nuts. What is this going to give us? All right. Spell damage and multiplier. 10%. Cool. Uh, 
right, 13% more knockback, 13 more max HP, sure, why not? I mean, we got, uh, we got a lot of energy shield and a lot of HP right now, and a metric shit ton of damage, so... Not too, uh, not too worried. We're gonna, we're gonna get a good chunk of the way into the endless mode. Max HP added is base damage plus five percent. Wait. Plus eighteen. All right. Well. I saw a 69 pop up, so that means that we're doing good. I'm not really sure, like, what that means, but I do know that whatever we have going on at the moment is destroying the entire screen constantly. So, you know, in my book, on the hunt, oh, that must be for hitting level 50 with this guy. When you kill an elite demon, kill all non-elite demons. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and then we'll go into the uh, we'll go into the elite mode. I think the elite endless mode. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about that. So when we kill him, we should see the entire screen. Yep, go blank. I popper to level eleven. 36 seconds left until endless mode. Perfect, we are up to 126 energy shield. Energy shield and booty shotgun for the win. Energy shield plus 30% when your energy shield breaks. Negate all HP damage dealt by the hit and regenerate HP over 0.7 seconds. Equal to 200% of this. Okay. All I heard was a lot of survivability. That's how I'm reading that. Which, it could be incorrect. That does tend to happen. With my presumptions about games and their mechanics therein. And here we go, it's endless mode, and we're going into demonic rage. Uh, periodically, yep. All right, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, we'll go with more crit chance, why not? Why the hell not? And now we're just kind of cruising around, killing everything we can. Go multiplier plus 30%. So what is our, what are our three, all of our critical hits are gonna do 326% damage. Which is good. And when we kill bosses, or elites, excuse me, we clear the screen. So spawning into the elite mode is going to pay dividends for us. Now we can probably just sit still. We are probably at that point. Let's take a look here. Oh. All right, that did 59 damage and we energy shield healed it up pretty much immediately. Ooh, got, tried to get spicy there with it. those shrines. Let's get some more levels, shall we? Is today the day I'm going to hit max level beans? I'm feeling like it could be. It very well could be. Critical chance. Spells gain added base damage equal to 10% of your critical chance. So an extra 20, yeah, we're at 24 additional base damage. We'll take our critical chance up even higher. If we can. Uh, 
cleanse the corrupted shrine. Here we are. Let's get cleansing, brother. Now we're just kind of circling around, killing everything off as it comes, and uh, hopefully getting a really, really spicy ability here. I mean, the trash mobs just melt before us. What do we got here? 25% more damage? Sure, why not? Well, we're doing all right on energy shield as it is already, so not too worried about that. Ooh. Almost got hit by a lightning orb there. Almost, but not quite. It almost counts in a few games, but not Spellbook Demon Slayers. I'll tell you what. Oh. Well, definitely did get hit there. And we healed it up. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Oh, shit. We got a spell up to level 12? Is that supposed to happen? I don't know. I do not know. Damage multiplier against elite demons. Plus 50%. Damage plus 25%. Yep. Absolutely. That means elites that are grenades that kill the screen when they die are going to die 50% faster, I think. So we're at 52% critical chance. So half of our... Half of our shit's going to be doing triple damage. Because... Uh, I did not realize that with uh, that number before was with the critical multiplier shrine or some kind of a uh, temporary effect that we've got. So, that's my bad. We're still doing 300% damage on critical strikes, which are happening 50% of the time, 52% of the time to be specific. And, uh, yeah, we might be able to just stand still here for a while. All right, point the booty shotgun at the elites. There we go. Oh, hit the edge of the map there. Would love an experience shrine just to gather up all the various XP we have floating around the map. We are leaving a lot of it pretty much everywhere. I like that she's just kind of chilling there with her book and her pistol while there's about 18,000 projectiles coming out of her per second. Like just another normal day for a purple-haired wizardess. Hmm. 50%. one reroll. 50% chance to apply double the amount of critical multiplier to your damage. Yes. That sounds like a really good idea. Right? I think. I mean, that means we're going to be getting really, really big hits there when we crit sometimes. I mean, we're already... Hey, a smuggler shrine. Oh, I didn't even see that one that was on us. All right, what do we got? Cybernetics... Damage reduction, 8%. Critical chance, plus 7. Armor, minus 1. Yeah. I'll take that. All but one max mana is converted to twice that much armor. In energy shield, equal to 50% of your reserved HP. All right. Since we're just really leaning into energy shield and... What not at this point? Alright, what are we at? Level 59, so we have 40 levels left until we hit max level.
So now we just aim our booty shotgun at pretty much anything that gets close to us and it'll die. Hmm. Yeah, sure, might as well grab some brain power. What is our damage bonus? Is it 255%? We are consistently hitting for well over 500 damage. I want to see numbers in the millions, Beans. That's the goal here. All right. Max spell limit plus one. Damage plus... Oh, we can grab a whole nother spell. I forgot that I, uh, I got that one. Okay, well, that... Uh, that could definitely be very, very interesting. A new spell, you say? What would I want? Extra cast speed. I mean, I feel like we're, we've hit the cast speed cap already. Oh, those guys are dicks. Aimed fire. Don't I already have that? We're going to re-roll. Yes, this is the one I thought it was. So we're going to grab Ghost Bullet. That pairs very, very nicely with the build that we currently have going anyways. All right, let's kill them off. And see, I don't think we're going to get this critical shrine done. They just kind of spawned in a weird spot. Oh, we might. Holy shit, we did. Yeah, 25% more global damage. And grab the XP Shrine, which will be... The knockback is enough that we are quite literally knocking them back. Perfect. Yeah, Ghost Bullet, why not? Okay, yeah, we are, uh, we're breaking this game wide open. And level 64, ooh, a smuggler shrine, we'll see, maybe we can get something, something else spicy instead of ghost bullet, I'm not, you know, hard sold on it. demons with an aimed torrent of this is the one I was talking about I might take this to replace ghost bullet we'll see yeah we're gonna replace Go ghost bullet with that Crit chance up and so this aura around us is basically going to make it so enemies take more damage And the more we get that, the more damage it'll do, and it's just, wow. All right, this is, this is the build, Beans. This is the build we're gonna hit level 100 with. I'm feeling good about that. Yeah, we'll take more movement speed and more cast speed, why not? Oh, shit. All right, got a lifesteal shrine going on here. All right, and just under over 50 left to kill. Yeah, let's uh, let's take our crit chance up here, shall we? Hmm. Nine percent chance to freeze on hit. Thirty-five percent. Hmm. Let's do base damage to all burning ground. Maybe. 
Damage multiplier against elite demons plus 50%, so that means 100% extra damage on elite demons total and 50% more damage globally. Yep. Sounds good to me. And the booty shotgun just absolutely melted him and them. This will take our crit chance up to 98%. We are too shy of complete and total critonometry. I don't think that's a real word, but in my mind it is now because I actually really like that. The study of critonometry. Oh wow, they are mobbing on us, huh? That's fine. I got all day. I got all day for these things. And this will level up. Meltdown to level four. What a banger of a run we have ourselves here, Beans. This is for sure going to be a new max score. At least on this level, possibly on the uh, the game in its entirety. All right. Yep. This will bring us up over a hundred percent crit chance, and that will add twenty nine base damage total to our ba uh, stats. <laughs> there we go. That's the word I was looking for, right? Stats. Drop us a chest? No. All right. Fair enough. All right, what do we got here? We're gonna re-roll. We're gonna see what we can get going on here. Sure, we'll get that. I want to see what the evolution of the uh, the energy shield ability is. Hey, Astral Flower Shrine. We already have 22 this run, which is awesome. Power Shrine is going to be... Well, it's going to be useful, whatever it is. We got plenty of rerolls, so it's fine. Energy shield recharge speed is doubled. All right, that's what I like to hear. Oh wow, we are getting hit by a lot of lightning balls. Maybe you should start getting a little bit more mobile here. Reroll. Reroll. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna take 8% flat damage reduction. Ooh, an experience shrine. Perfect. Where's some more elites? Oh, what do we got here? A mana shrine. How far are we in? 20 minutes and 30 some odd seconds. Haste Shrine is going to give us extra cast and move speed if I'm not mistaken. Nope, just move speed. I was mistaken. So now we're just kind of running around the map, killing everything, trying to grab as much XP as we can. I want to evolve the uh, the radiation aura ability we got going on here. See what that's got. See what that's got going on. And once we uh, once we tweak it a little bit, ooh, more elites. What do you know? More dead elites. When the toughest enemies also act as uh, as crucifixes. Well, at least in Vampire Survivor's world. All 
right. Did manage to get both of those. I just... It, uh, we don't even really need them. I just like them. More movement speed, more cast speed. Sure, why not? Ooh, interesting. And now we got... Uh, we got the next cursed shrine. Ooh, definitely did a little uh, damage arena to us there. How far? I mean, how far can we go with this build? Because we are at level 75. That is, uh, that's, that's no joke. Hey shrine. Alright, come on, let's uh let's cleanse this shrine, shall we? Ooh, ooh. What is that? An experience shrine? I like that. We'll take some damage if we need. Alright, we do not need. Take meltdown. All right, perfect. What do we got here? Hmm. You must have a twenty percent chance to explode on death. Projectile pierce plus one and 30% more global damage. Seems like a good idea. For, for us, not, not for the enemies, just to really hammer that point home. We are the booty shotgun goddess right now, Beans. Am I recording? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I would have uh, I would have been upset I've already done that enough today Ooh, it's time for some hydration I'm punching my microphone I'm so excited to, to hydrate up hmm <laughs> Oh, demons in your light radius are weakened, causing them to take double knockback. I didn't... I had no idea. You learn something new every day. When you gain a level one, overlevel can be used to allow you to pick two rewards. Now we're just going to take some flat damage reduction. Alright. Yeah, and there is uh, one elite, two elite. Dead, dead, dead. We are at 28 Astral Flowers already this run, which seems like a lot. It actually isn't. Kind of got a grind in this game, which I don't have a problem with because it is so damn fun. Wow, just waves upon waves of dead enemies. Ooh, Astral Flower Shrine. Let's bring it up to 28. Or 29, shall we? And there we go. 29 Astral Flowers. Hurrah, brother. And we got some elites over there. Sure, we'll take explode when hit for plus 75% of damage taken. Why not? Probably should have grabbed another level on meltdown. Ooh. 
because the uh, the elites are not dropping chests at this point. All right, is this the point where the math starts stacking up against us? It's starting to feel like it might be. At this point, I'm okay with whatever happens. All right, we are gonna take that. Armor reduction of six. So they're gonna take six more damage from all of our attacks. I feel like that might not be a lot. Yeah, we can, we're just kind of standing still at this point. Let's kill this elite off, and this one. Hey, there we go. Dropped a chest. Help down, level 7. Oh, shit. I've never hit level 80 before, I guess. Well, we're close. We're close to the elusive level 100. Which I, I'm, I'm loving. I, uh, I'm feeling good, Beans. I'm feeling real good. Let's go kill this guy, shall we? Oh, did we burn a revive? Oh, we almost burned a revive there. We were real close. Still somehow didn't burn a revive? All right. Well, if that's, uh... If that's the way you feel, game, who am I to, who am I to argue? We definitely should have burned at least two revives right there, though. So. And hopefully pop him. There we go, a chance to deal triple damage up. Wow, we are getting slapped around right now. Yeah, this is this is the inevitable mathematics catching up to us. What do we have up here? Hey Shrine, sure. At this point I'm you know, we're we're gonna die. We're we're gonna die and that's okay. We have three health left. Okay, there's our first revive. I don't think we're making it to level 100 today, Beans. We're not quite strong enough. That's okay. We're just going to kind of chill here and see what happens. Hmm. Damage reduction over... 100%. Causes demons to heal you. How the hell do you get that high? I don't know, but it keeps me up, I guess. Oh, shit, we got one of these. All right, yeah, this is this is where it ends. And there's another revive. Somehow still surviving. Well, you know what? Don't don't count your chickens before they're sad. Hmm. <laughs> Reroll, we'll grab. Grab Tailwind. Damage plus 60, max mana plus one. Sure. Well, who knows? Maybe that was the little boost we needed to, to get to where we were trying to go. Level 100. Ooh, level 12 on that, level 11 on that. Just kind of making our way around. Oh, this might, there it is. That's okay. You know what? I am, I am okay with that, Beans. That was a, <laughs> holy shit, that was a hell of a run. Oh, 
Beans, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me tonight. I really, uh, really appreciate y'all taking the time out of your days and evenings to watch the content that I'm creating for y'all. Make sure you like today's video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's free, only takes a second. Helps me out a ton as a content creator with YouTube's algorithm. I love you guys so very, very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye. Mwah. Remember, Toe Beans? Like, comment, subscribe. Or else I'll cry myself to sleep tonight.